Looking for an elegant and tasty dessert that's paleo-friendly too? Try this poached pear recipe from chef Marlene Bernstein of Savor This Kitchen. Here's what you'll need. Two pears, four cups of pure pomegranate juice, half a cup of coconut sugar, two whole cinnamon sticks, six whole cloves, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cardamom. We're gonna begin by pouring our pomegranate juice into our pot. With that. Thank you. Pomegranate juice slows down the process of aging by reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the face. And then next we're going to be using some coconut sugar, half a cup. And I love using coconut sugar for recipes. It's minimally processed, so it's a better choice than your traditional sugars. Too, and it has lots of minerals and vitamins. And it works just like a normal sugar does. Yeah, you can substitute it part for part. And then we have our cinnamon sticks. Love the cinnamon sticks. This is the holidays to me. And cinnamon's great for stabilizing blood sugar too. So. Yes. And then of course our cloves. And we've got real cloves. Yeah, we do great. whole cloves, six of those. And cloves are great for digestion too. And then finally we're gonna add in our ground cardamom. Detoxifier, got exactly. a little detox going in there. So we're gonna begin by bringing this to a boil. This is starting to smell amazing. And I think we're ready to incorporate our pears. Right, so it's been brought to a boil. We're gonna turn it down to a simmer. Exactly. And then we're going to go ahead and add our pears. Perfect. And these already have been cored. And peeled. peeled. And cut in half. It has like a cinnamon tangy scent. I just, so holiday. This has been simmering for about 30 minutes now. They're starting to look beautifully poached, right? Yes, they are looking beautifully po poached. And you'll know they're ready when they sort of take on the color of the pomegranate. Exactly. Mixture, right? Great, I think so we're ready to strain them. Let's do it. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove one cup of the pomegranate liquid from our pot. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Yes. And we also want to make sure to not catch any of the cloves or cinnamon because those are not fun to munch on. <laughs> okay, perfect. And then we're just gonna go ahead and raise our heat and just let it uh, reduce essentially. Now, do we bring this to a boil? Yes, we're going to have it. Uh, we're going to bring it to a boil, uh, but we want to make sure to continue to stir it as um, we're reducing because we don't want to burn it. And since right. it does have sugar in it, it's very easy to do that. So we've now reduced our sauce. The way we know how we were able to reduce it is we're looking for a nappe consistency where basically it coats the back of the spoon. At that point, you can go ahead and spoon your reduction and then just drizzle it over your poached pear. I'm gonna dig in and try this. Mm. Those are incredible. Mission accomplished. It's so flavorful and vibrant. Thank you so much, Marlene. Thank you so much for having me. We'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.